Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 45 in chapter 9. Chapter 9 is about linear momentum. In this one, you can see we have the one, bar, one object, and then it breaks into two parts. It's an internal explosion. What does that mean? Internal, internal explosion. That means no external force acts on it. Momentum is conserved. Agree? Yes. And then we find one part is 1.5 times the mass of the other. So there we consider the M1 is 1.5 times M2, okay? And the explosion energy is given. We need to find the kinetic energy for each part. How can we do that? So very easy. We can see uh, the first equation comes from the linear momentum is conserved. Initial momentum is zero because the, the object is stationary and it breaks into two parts. So V1 plus V2 plus, right? And then we, the external, the exploration energy is just uh, comes from zero. Just uh, from the kinetic, uh, just uh, transfer to the kinetic energy for part one and part two. Agree? Yes. And then from this equation, we can get this equation. We find the relationship between V1 plus and V2 plus, agree? Because the ratio M, M2 with the M1 is 1.5, agree? Yes. Now the next one, we can see we need to find the kinetic, kinetic energy for each other. So kinetic energy for part one is one half M1 V1 plus square. Similar, similarly, we can find the kinetic energy for K2, for part 2. Now, we just uh, input these two equations inside. We can see for the explosion energy, we can just uh, write it in the term of K2. So how can we do that? First one, we just input is M1 as 1.5 M2, and V1 plus as this uh, uh, negative 2 over 3 V2 plus and then we just uh, simplify this equation we get it is the ratio with the kinetic energy K2 in this way we can find kinetic energy K2 and K1 thank you